Hi, this is Ben Marcel with Wireless IQ. Today we're going to look at some software made for the BlackBerry. This software helps you record your mileage. The IRS recently raised the rate that you can deduct for mileage. It's 58 cents per mile. And you'd be surprised how many miles you'll log over the course of a year. The first program that we're going to look at is called Track It Vehicle Edition. It gives you a dashboard and shows you the different options that you can um, use for the program. It allows you to track a lot of expenses associated with your vehicle. Uh, the first thing I did was I switched it from this view under features. I went into options and then I selected show menu as text. The graphic looked pretty cool and all but it was a little too much for me. And then I hit save, back out and here is the main menu for Track It Vehicle Edition. So it allows you to record lots of different expenses for your vehicle. One being mileage. It's really simple to use. I highlight mileage with the arrow and then I select it with the trackball. Here I have some mileage already entered and you can sort it by the month and the day. As you see in the upper right hand corner uh, January 2009 is selected. But if I want to go back to December, I just click January, scroll down, and it takes me to December 08. Press the trackball, and it brings up all the listing for, for December. So it shows what day you entered in the record, the destination, it calculates the distance for you, and then if you have multiple entries in the bottom right hand corner, it shows a running total of the mileage for that month. I'm going to switch back to January and to create a new record for mileage you just press the menu button and you press new and it asks you for the information to input track it vehicle edition will allow you to track multiple vehicles just by giving the vehicle a name um, there's a start date and an end date as well as an odometer start and odometer end so I'm just going to input 155,000 miles and then the end odometer, I'll just put at 155,020. And then you could enter a destination. I went to client for a consultation. And here you can check business. If you don't check business, it leaves it as a personal mileage entry. So I'll select business and then you can also put comments here. And then to save it you can just press the back button and then hit save and it automatically calculates it for you. If you make a mistake you can always go back and edit it by pressing menu and then going to edit. And it brings you back to the same screen. pretty straightforward way to keep track of your mileage. You can also track your fuel expenses and that of course sorts by the day as well in the month. If you want to create a new entry it looks pretty similar except this time it has a gas price so you can put how much you paid per gallon and then how many gallons. And then if you hover over total costs you can press the menu button and then calculate and it gives you how much you paid for the gas. You can also put the dealer or the gas station that you went to and then you can record it as a business or personal expense. Hit the back button and then save. Other vehicle expenses can be recorded under expenses. Here I have an entry for a window cleaner. Um, you can press new and it looks pretty similar, it just asks you for the information to enter. And the other thing is the maintenance. So you can track your oil changes or your schedule maintenance. Here if I go to new, it has a lot of the same information, the date, the odometer, description and cost. It also has an option for repair shop. So that I, if I have different places that I take my cars, I can easily select which one I took it to you can create a new repair shop by pressing menu and then going to new repair shop and you can enter in the information and then save it and then it will give you 
that option to select. Here's where you can add what vehicles you have, year, make, and model. And then under features you have some different options. Here you can show a report or a graph for how many miles you, uh, you drove, what your fuel costs or maintenance costs are. You can even export the data and it sends it through email and you can filter what you want to export. Some other options are you can change the color scheme. Uh, the default is this orange color scheme. There's a blue one. You can change the different colors. And now you have the blue scheme. And then of course that one that I showed you earlier where you can uh, show the main menu as text instead of that, the picture. Pretty solid program. Very easy to use. It's $29.99. There's a link on our website to where you can download a trial version of it. You get to try it out for six days. The, program, the other program that I'm going to show you is called Mileage Manager. This one is a little bit more basic than the previous one that I showed you. And all it does is record your actual mileage. It doesn't record any expenses or maintenance. And there are no reports or graphs that you can see uh, from the miles or the expenses that you have. Real simple to use. You press menu and you can add a new record or open an existing one. I'll show you how to add a new one here. So here's the date category. You can select business, personal, other. Write in the trip purpose, starting odometer, and finishing odometer reading. It will automatically calculate the distance for you as you enter in the finishing reading. This one has an option where you can put the rate of reimbursement. So if your company reimburses you for so many miles that you drove using your car, you can enter that rate in here. And it will calculate how much you need to be reimbursed. To save it, press menu and then save and there it is so you can sort your records or export them you can actually send your um, records through email your BlackBerry will send an email to any email address that you want and what it does is it sends it either as an HTML file or a CSV file so that you can put it into Microsoft Excel to change that option, you go to Menu and then Tools, and then Preferences, and here it shows the export format. You can also put a default reimbursement rate. Very simple, straightforward program to use. It's a little bit cheaper than the other program that um, I was showing you. Uh, I did notice one little glitch. If, let's say, I have this existing entry, and I want to open it and make a change to it. Let's say the trip purpose I want to put went to the bank. A lot of times if you're used to the Blackberry you can just press the back button and it'll give you the option to save, discard, or cancel. This one backs you out to the screen that you were previously at. So if you want to make a change you have to first open it, type your change, press menu and then save and then it'll save your change so you can't just hit the back button but I think this program's ten bucks or so it's definitely worth it in order to track your mileage this has been with wireless IQ if you have any questions feel free to give us a holler uh, our website is wirelessiqllc.com